Okay folks, here I have the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Just taking it out of the box and we're going to be setting it up today so that it is prepared for our very first flight. So in preparation for this, make sure you have the battery fully charged and good to go and also a couple of SD cards as well. One for the controller, one for the drone and we're going to begin by just popping these into place. We're going to start by turning on the RC2 screen controller and to do this we simply tap the power button and then hold it down. So tap, hold down and that will turn on momentarily. So this took about 30 seconds to load to this screen and this is a touch screen so you will be using your finger to navigate. We are going to start by selecting our language, so English in my case. Agree to the terms of use, you can't proceed unless you do so. Select your country, United States is selected by default. Now you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So tapping the password option here will bring up the on-screen keyboard to put the password into. And that small tick icon indicates that the network is connected, so let's select next. We will change our time zone. I'm not currently in Beijing. And then we need to log in with our DJI account. If you don't currently have an account, then you can select the create account option here. It is free to create an account, but you do need to do this. After signing into your account, you will be required to activate. So let's select activate there. This will tie the controller to your account. And now we can simply select start for the quick start guide or we can select skip. So now let's go ahead and open the main app, which is the DJI Fly app. Next, we will need to authorize the information that DJI wants to be able to collect from us. And I believe some of this is required in order to support proper function of the GPS. So let's select next. I'm not going to join the product improvements. And there we go. We actually have access now to the DJI Fly app on the controller. Now, Obviously, there's nothing we can see right now because the drone is turned off. So with the drone, I'm going to remove the gimbal protector, even though I'm not flying indoors. When you do turn the drone on, the gimbal may move about. So we'll want to make sure it has the freedom to do so. We need to insert the battery. You can see inside where the pins are that the battery will connect to at the top of the inside of the drone. So make sure that the pins on the battery are going to align with that and then just push it in until it clicks into place. Very simple. And now to turn the drone on, similar to with the controller, we just need to tap the power button and then hold it down for a second or two. Okay, and the DJI Mini 4 Pro has been turned on for the very first time, how exciting. And straight away without having to do anything else with the controller, we can see that the drone has been detected since they are automatically paired to one another straight out of the box. So let's go ahead and agree. We are going to be activating the drone now to our DJI account. There we have it, select done. We do have to download the firmware for the latest version. This will take a few minutes, but fortunately we are connected to Wi-Fi. It will also update the Fly app as well if need be. So let's just go ahead and select update. This will take a little bit of time, so just be patient. Okay, it looks like it's just finishing up now. It did take about 15 minutes in order to complete that update. So as I say, just be a little bit patient. Let's go ahead and cancel the questionnaire. And we just need to turn the drone back on once more in order to get the connection going again. Okay, now obviously I'm indoors, so I'm not going to be taking off here, but we can go ahead now and switch over to our SD card. And we can also check these settings so that when I do take this outside, I know that a lot of the stuff that I want is going to be in place. So first off, I want to make sure that the measurements and the maximum height and distance are as I want them and that obstacle avoidance is set up. So obstacle avoidance can either be set to bypass or to break or to off. I don't recommend using off. I'm going to keep it on break. That means if the Mini 4 Pro detects an object, it's going to break obviously and stop. Whereas if it's on bypass, it will try and move around the object. Everything else I'm going to keep in terms of the display radar map to the default settings. Advanced return to home. 
Okay, this means that it will automatically select the route for us when returning to home. It may not necessarily come in a straight line. It will choose the best way back if we do need to use that feature. And auto return to home altitude, currently at 100 meters. You can also change the measurements, by the way, to imperial if you prefer feet. But I'm just going to reduce this a little bit because 100 meters is quite high, especially if it's windy. If there are going to be really tall obstacles or buildings, then yes, you will need to increase that. And I'll just check the rest here. 120 meters, which is 400 feet. That is pretty much the legal ceiling you can fly to in most places, but you can change that if you wish. And I will keep the distance set to max. And here we can calibrate the compass, but I will do that when we are outside as it tends to get better results. And pretty much everything else in terms of the safety settings are as I would like them. So if we pop over to control, this is where we can change our unit. So if I switch over to Imperial, you can see that everything has also adjusted as expected. For gimbal mode, I recommend for the most part keeping this on follow mode. FPV mode is if you want to get more sporty looking cinematic shots. And on the camera setting, adjust these to how you want them. For the photo format, I just keep this on JPEG simply because I don't do a whole lot of post editing with my photos. And the little bit I do is fine with just the JPEG files. Aspect ratio and resolution, 12 megapixels will be fine to start with. 48 megapixels will obviously give you much larger file sizes, but you are able to zoom in for greater detail. And in terms of transmission, this is really clever. The DJI OcuSync technology will automatically allow the drone and the controller here to switch channels and frequencies on the radio network as need be. So just keep this set to dual band and the channel mode to auto and let the technology take care of the transmission for you. And that's about it. If ever you want to see if there's a new update for your aircraft, this should pop up automatically. But if it doesn't, just go over to the about screen and tap the check for updates here. That will check for both the aircraft firmware and also the RC firmware and the DJI Fly app, all with that single link. But there we have it. So I'm going to do a few calibrations outside. But other than that, the drone is set up and good to go. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has been helpful to you. This has been my little tutorial for first time setup for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I'm super excited to get this in the air. Thanks for joining me today and happy flying.